Lucky Fried Fun and welcome if you are new. Today I am going to be taking down my summer kitchen vignette and turning it into a fall kitchen vignette. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just see you and me together. Don't let me lose hope. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ruth and on my channel you'll find cleaning and declutter motivation as well as decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you click the red subscribe button, be sure to also click the little bell that is right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. This is a participation with a challenge that is being hosted by Denise from This and That with Denise Jordan. I'll be sure to leave a link to her channel up in the cards and down in the description box. She is a wonderful lady, both if you are a new YouTuber and if you are a wife, mother in general, she gives practical tips for both genres. I'll also be sure to leave a link to the playlist of all the other ladies in their fall kitchen vignettes up in the cards and down in the description box so that when you're finished watching my video you can go ahead and check out all the other ladies and get some fall decoration inspiration. I'll also be sure to leave a link to a playlist that I've created of all the other kitchen vignettes that I have done in the past that Denise has hosted. I apologize for my dog barking in the background. I have no idea what he's barking at now. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this switched out and decorated for fall. Before I started decorating, the first thing that I did was go ahead and clear off the island. Now to start removing the summer decor and I just wanted to show y'all my little letter board. I recently got more letters at Target Dollar Spot and I've been having fun making phrases with them. By the way, if you notice my voice sounding funny, I did happen to catch a cold, but I still wanted to go ahead and do a voiceover because I know I really enjoy those when I watch videos myself. Beyond gravel, beyond The first thing that Denise wanted us to have, just like every other kitchen vignette challenge, was a tray and I'm just going to be using the same one I've used for the past couple and here I am just wiping it down. I did find this one at Goodwill, it was $2 and as you know me, I shop on half off day so I'm pretty sure I only paid a dollar for this tray. The second thing that Denise wanted us to have was something with words and so I did go ahead and go with my mason jar sign that I got from Dollar Tree. It just says home sweet home on it and I used it last year in my kitchen vignette. I'm pretty sure I have a video on that and I'll be sure to leave it linked up here in the corner if you would like to go ahead and check that video out. Some other things that Denise wanted us to have were some fall accents, so here I am just trying to find a little something so that the sign can lean up against it. I was going to use this candle stand that I actually found last year at a flea market and I ended up only paying 50 cents for it. It is beautiful and I was going to then place this candle on top of it that my cousin Lydia gave to me. It was a homemade candle but it was just too tall and since with a vignette you do want to be able to move it. I went ahead and just removed the stand for now and I'll be using that later on. For some more fall accents, I wanted to use these pine cones that I have, but they ended up being too big to fit into the jar. So I went ahead and found some smaller pine cones and pumpkins and things and stuck a couple down in the bottom of the mason jar. If almost gone, someday I know I finally make it through the gates, just have to wait. You whisper to me there's no maybe. Even 
A fourth thing that Denise wanted us to have was some fall florals. So here I am just messing around with some of my Dollar Tree flowers. Absolutely love them, especially the neutral colors for fall. So here I am just deciding which ones will fit right in this mason jar. I went ahead with these daisies. I have an orange daisy in my wreath that is in our dining room and I actually have a video on that wreath. I'll be sure to leave it linked up here in the cards if you'd like to see how I made that wreath. And here I am just lighting the candle. me put together my fall kitchen vignette. I hope that you enjoyed watching and that it gave you some fall decoration inspiration. If it did, please be sure to leave my video a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, perhaps you're coming over from the challenge. I'm so glad that you watched my video today and I hope if you like what you saw that you would subscribe and once you click that red subscribe button, be sure to also click the little bell right next to it because I definitely will have some more fall videos coming out. As you notice behind me, my towels are still in summer mode, so that I'm sure will be a video coming up, and I wouldn't want y'all to miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that you have a blessed day and a wonderful week, and I will see y'all next time. Bye! See it all.